Jesse was born into a family of multi-generational child trafficking, abuse, in an unbelievable way. I mean, this is, this is as, bad, as bad as it gets. At the age five, he was trafficked so much that he was picked up by the police. He's taken into foster home, from foster home to another until many attempts fail. They take him to a foster home with a family that takes care of kids with special needs. And he's there with another nine kids. This is a true story, by the way. And there he, he's being abused every day. Physically beaten every day. He's not being fed just because of extremely small, petty little things. Many nights, he's forced to sleep outside in the chicken coop. Many nights, he tries to run away from the house, but they strip him away from his clothes, so he can't run away. He's only left with his underwear. So one day, he is running in the middle of the winter. He's running outside on the road, barefoot, doesn't have anything to wear, with his underwear, a little kid. And the deputy sheriff picks him up, and he says, what are you doing? You're running in the middle of the street? And he explains to the deputy sheriff of, of the trauma, of the abuse that he's facing with his foster parents. And the deputy sheriff tells him, you're lying. Instead of being grateful to those people, you're, you're accusing them? Shame on you. And he takes him back. When he takes him back, the foster father beats him so much that he ends up at the hospital. And when he ends up at the hospital, he gets out and he goes to another foster home and he's taken care of until Jesse makes it to high school many years later. And he's doing very well. Except there is one problem. Jesse had a very good math teacher. And the math teacher was very nice to him, but Jesse had a problem with the math teacher. Every time the math teacher would walk around the class, Jesse would get into a fight with him. They actually got into physical fistfights. He's taken to the principal's office. What are you doing? Why? I don't know. I have no idea. Until they realized, listen to this, this is unbelievable. Until they realized that the math teacher was using the same deodorant as the foster father, the father at the foster home. And as soon as this math teacher would walk around and he would smell the scent, he would go into the mode of fear or fright, or fright, and he would want to protect himself, not knowing what he was even doing. This is how important this topic is. Now, many of you might be thinking, Sayyid, why are you using such extreme examples? The vast majority of us have not experienced this, nor will experience this. Why don't we use more relatable examples? And I'll tell you why. It's because we need to be more thankful. We need to be more grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I see some kids... Why are you so upset with your parents? They don't buy me an iPhone 13. All my friends have an iPhone 13. I don't have one. Really? Is that your problem now? 